hey what's up my friend i hope you are doing well you are doing great so now today i'm going to show you the super super effect that i made in the premiere pro guys this is perfect if you want to see this effect please first subscribe to my youtube channel so now first let me show it to you how this effect it is ah. bro one more one more guys this is super perfect effect so now let's jump in the premiere pro then let me show you how you can do it okay so now this is the video clip i'm going to use so now as you see i think you have been see the effect i'm going to show you how to do it so now this is effect i'm going to use so now first i'm going to take the four screenshot that i'm going to use so now click here on export frame or you can use this control shift plus e so now click on it then here on format you have to choose png so now first i'm going to export one image then I click ok then back again then take the second one back again the third one and again the fourth one the last one so now after this come here to put on this image on this timeline okay so now this is the fourth image i'm going to use so now close this is the third the top one and then I click here on the last one so now light click on it and then click here on edit in adobe photoshop okay so now after this the photoshop is already open so now click here on the pen tool so now i'm going to select this tower first i'm going to select this one because i'm going to remove all this tower for first image as i told you the first image is for empty space so now guys after selecting this stuff so now click on ctrl plus enter to select it. so now click here on edit fill so now here on content you have to choose continent away and then place ok so now already my tower is gone so now click here on select to deselect this one so now after this i'm going to save this image as png so now you can use shortcut on your keyboard ctrl shift plus s then save as on your computer so now guys you have to replace on that image have been saved so guys you see in premiere pro my tower is gone so now for the second one image so open it and then i'm going to select this first flow so now click here on it right click and then click here on edit in adobe photoshop so now back again and i'm going to select this one the first flow i just want the first flow only the last two image is for the second one and the other one for the last one so now guys here i'm ready to select my first floor so now again press on ctrl press enter to select then click here on select click here on invert so now i'm going to delete this background by using this tool a laser tool so now you have to delete this background after he click here on the select so now save this image as ctrl shift plus s uh -huh. then replace on the second one okay click save then click ok so guys you see my image is already saved 
and automatically imported in the Premiere Pro. So now for the third image, and then open it. So now I'm going to select the second flow. So now click here, right click, then click here on edit in the Adobe Photoshop. So now I'm going to select the second flow, second flow only. And then after this, so now click Ctrl plus Enter to select it. And then after this, press and select Invert. And then I'm going to delete the this background. Okay. Yes. Please click the select. So now let me just delete this sky. Cause I just one second flow only. Okay. Let me delete it. Okay. It's done. So now after this, now you're gonna save again this second flow by Control Shift S. Save on your desktop, and then you have to replace on the third image click save okay so now you see already the second floor is on so now for the last one then do it again same as the first one mm -hmm. so now this is my last floor now select this last flow. Then click Ctrl plus Enter. Then remove this background. Then click here the select and then Ctrl Shift plus S to save your image. Then replace the, the first one. Then click save. Press OK. So now back here on Premiere Pro. So now the things I'm gonna do, I'm going to animate it. So now, first close this fourth image. Open it, the first one. So now you see my video is freeze. So now I'm going to remove this freeze for first one. So now click here on the first image, then click here on opacity. So now I'm going to mask where my tower it will be animated. Click here on these two and then mask where my tower is. Okay. Is in this place. So now you see. The video is going so now for the far the, the second one image i'm going to animate the first flow oh, let me just put it my timer here mm -hmm. on the second image so now click here on double arrows go here on effect then search this effect called transformer now drag and drop it on your second image Guys, this second image is for first flow. I'm going to animate. So now after this, let me just add some keyframe. Cause my first flow, it will come from down to up. So now here we add this keyframe from this position. Then back on the beginning of my first flow. Cause my first flow it will begin from down to up just like this so now let me just add this shutter angle uh -huh. so now after this you see my image it comes from this this space so now I'm going to mask where 
my image it where it comes from so now click here on this image again then go here on opacity for using this tool then mask where your first flow it will come from it's this one just like this so now let me text for the first time how is it guys you see now my animation first flow is done so now i'm going on the second one okay open up the second one just want the second one to start by here so now i'm going to do same as once this is where my animation to where it ended so now I click here on this image and so then drag this effect and then drop it here on the side image this side image for second flow so now add the key from here then back here on the beginning of my image where my second flow it where it comes from down to up so now move down this second flow so now then again add this shutter angle so now for the first the second flow i'm going to mask again where my flow it will comes from so now click here on this tool to mask so my image to where it comes from down for this first flow okay so now let me check how is it this is the first one this is the second one so now i'm going to add the last one and i just want the last one to start it by here so now open up this eye for the last one uh -huh. this is the where the animation where the last flow it will be and so now drag this effect and then drop it on it so now add the position on it and then back here on the beginning of my side flow so now add the first keyframe to it begin on the bottom of my second flow so now and again add this shutter angle Mm -hmm. so now guys i'm going to mask again where this last flow it will begin because it will begin by the second flow so now click on this tool to mask to where it started on the top of my second flow okay so now click this so now let me check how is it my effect the first one the second one and the third one guys this is how you can make grow up your house or your tower in premiere pro guys i hope you have been see how to do this effect if you have a question please comment down below and let me know what you think then don't forget to subscribe see you in next video